Okay guys, welcome to the next episode of Sunday Driving. Um, today, I'm just going to be, again, talking about my life. Um, and a couple things that are going on around the uh, around the YouTube community that just... It's, it's absolutely ridiculous what's happening. Now, uh, the video is me and Sick McNasty driving around the longest course on uh on gran turismo 5 in go-karts um if you're ever bored this is quite possibly the most fun way oh dear this is the most fun way you can um yeah <laughs> you can just waste time on this game and uh it also gives you money i'm pretty sure anyway uh so i wanted to really quickly just tell everybody about my week um so this week i uh i saw some friends who i haven't in a really long time um i've been waiting roughly two weeks to do that just because i uh i don't know i guess my school always picks the perfect time for everybody to not be home um i i don't know what happens like it, my what my school just can't do what the rest of the country does and give us an earlier vacation rather than sending us home on the 22nd of uh of december like how does that make sense oh that's beside the point um i got to see people who i used to work with last night um we went out we got some food, got some drinks, and it was a really good time. I uh, I got to unload some things off my chest that I had wanted to for an extremely long time to people who actually wanted to hear uh, my problems with the ex-girlfriend who screwed me over. Um, as some of you may know, as some of you may not know, I was dicked over by a girl uh, over the summer, and it, it just didn't. It, it didn't, I don't know, I, I, I'm still not 100% recovered from it, just because I really liked the girl, and I was already the second guy in the relationship, yet she dumped me and the other guy for a new guy who she met, um, I don't know, I don't know why I got so invested, I don't know how I got so invested, but I did, and it was a mistake, and the problem is, now, I'm, I'm still not over it, like, it, it's the weirdest thing, like, the, I, the, I, I just, I, I like the girl as a friend again, we talk and stuff, but she, she's not a good person, yet I can't s get it out of my head that uh i can't get it out of my head that she and i just won't work together as a couple anyway um so i got to tell them all about that and uh i it, it felt good to finally be able to tell somebody and not be slightly ridiculed for it i i i actually like that i actually like being able to talk to somebody and not get ridiculed for what it is that i'm saying um so that was fun uh the only problem was i'm pretty sure our designated driver was more drunk than we were i wasn't even drunk i had a drink and the girl who <laughs> was designated driving for us had like three quarters of margarita and then was done so that made us all a little bit nervous and uh one of the guys who i was there with we thought we heard some some ruckus happening but uh but as it turns out the two people were just drunk and screwing around in a parking garage so oh well um yeah, so that happened. I'm still waiting on another one of my friends to call me back. She and I are supposed to hang out soon. 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure when, but it's supposed to be soon. Um, and she she is my the the girl is legitimately my best friend on earth. I uh, I don't know what I would do. <coughs> I don't know what I would do without her. I really don't. She uh, she gets me better than anybody else on earth and when i hang out with her she and i just were we act like we act like we have some sort of handicap oh 360 be in the butt nipple shot anyway um so yeah i'm still waiting on her and then i'm still going to i haven't talked to her recently but i'm going to try to um see the uh I'm going to try to see the girl who I kissed on New Year's. I'm going to try to do something there. Because I still like her. I still want to try to get together with that girl. And um, Chelsea is her name. I still want to try to get together with Chelsea. I think she's adorable. I want to... I want to do something there, but... I don't know how. I just uh, it that's another it's another story that'll that'll take far too long for me to explain here. Um but uh yeah, so that's my life right now. Still nerve-wracking and confusing. And uh yeah, all of that nerve-wracking confusing stuff has gotten me slightly sick as you might be able to hear. Um then again, I had a shouting match with my sister and my parents, so that that could also be why I sound a little bit froggish. Um, what else? Oh, the sta the status of the YouTube community. Now, this has been bugging me for a while. I don't understand what the big deal is and why some commentators are saying, you know, the YouTube community is dead. Why some commentators are uh, are getting so worked up about what's happening within the community? It, it seriously doesn't make sense to me. Like they say, this is just a hobby, and they're not have. And if they're not having fun, they uh, if they're not having fun, they they just won't do it anymore. But the problem is. This is a source of income for most commentators. This is this is how some commentators get by. If if they're not having fun, then I don't understand what uh I don't understand why it is that they just can't leave. Like oh, follow up on your follow up on your promises and and just take off like most of this became a problem with I don't know how, but Woody's gamer tag. Like evidently his video on the status of the YouTube community just sparked all sorts of rage within commentators from all over the place. And um it became exacerbated by a uh, by a man named Prive Eight Jaker, who decided it would be a good idea to list all of the problems with each specific commentator, and uh, and how it doesn't really affect everybody else. It just affects those people when they get paid by YouTube. Now, that's my big problem with this whole thing. None of us are affected in any way, shape, or form by how commentators decide to commentate. Either way, they have our subscription. I mean, it's not like I'm going to unsubscribe to X Jaws just because he's a rich kid already and he's making more money off of YouTube. No, that's not how I'm going to do it. Like, why bother? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, he... Sure, he doesn't have interesting commentary. But what he does have... Is an incredible playing style. And somehow he pulls a 5KD... 
in the slowest game on earth while he rushes most of the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I don't like... I don't like him that much. Like, I... I understand where Private Jaker is coming from when he said that uh, X-Jaws is just a greedy little kid who doesn't want to spend his own money, stuff like that. Oh, God. Yeah, as you guys can see in the background, I'm sorry, this is my ADHD. As you guys can see in the background, I this is a hard course to run in a go-kart. <laughs> I mean, y you can't get through here without just just spinning eight or nine times um but this is the start of a really long straightaway uh it's coming the game is coming to a close pretty soon i think within the next two minutes so um ugh, pardon me i'll get back to my topic um <laughs> private jaker uh just started listing off what he called facts about these people but the problem is in order for him to list off these facts he would have actually had to have gone and watched these people's videos now if he's really so hellbent on making the cod community a better place on youtube again then he wouldn't go and watch these people's videos what he would do is he would he would literally have to propose his point without having any sort of backup without just stating his opinion rather than backing up what he calls evidence of people being you know bad youtube commentators and mistreating their subs and uh, and just not go and watch their videos that would have been a better plan of action Re instead of going back pulling people's private Skype messages and AIM messages, things like that, bashing people. I mean, like, if you don't like the person, that's fine, but you don't need to rip on them. Like, the way they do commentary is different from the way you do commentary. That's, that's just, that's not right. Especially when you don't know the person in real life. I find, I find that absolutely deplorable in a person's in a person's moral fiber how about that um all right well that was the end of the video guys um i hope you enjoyed uh sick mcnasty and i driving our go-karts on nurburgring um please rate comment subscribe um and and have a wonderful day you sexy motherfuckers i'll uh, i'll talk to y'all later okay bye